this show called? Ding Bat Profits. Welcome to Ding, Ding Bat, Bat Profits. Profits. I'm Steve Kozar. I'm Paulette Kozar, and we have Lucy joining us today. And we have some Tim Tams. Tim Tams to do it. We're not going to do a Tim Tam Slam, though. These are good. These yes. are from Australia. Yes. And what else? We have some shapes. Are not shapes. Really good crackers. From Australia. I had the ones with the with the Vegemite in them. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Ruth. I've never had Vegemite before. And her before. family. We say thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, so what uh, what is this show about? Ding that profits. That's kind of mean. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It is not. <laughs> Let's explain it. Let's explain it. See, what we're trying to do is get lots of views on YouTube. Oh, okay. So we just use that word, dingbat. Yeah, it's like, wait a minute. What's going on here? I think I'm going to click. <laughs> it's clickbait. Clickbait. No, it's just a silly idea we came up with yes. because we were doing this thing with Chris Roseboro and we were noticing there's so many false prophets on YouTube. Way too many. And, and we just thought, let's do some kind of a version of that show and a little bit like Hit the Bar. Yeah. And we're going to be hitting the bar. And we're going to be talking about the Dingbat Profits. And actually, it's really important because... It is important. There are... I had no idea how many people are using YouTube as their little... Uh, Fortune-telling... Machine. Machine. Booth. Yeah. Booth, that's the right. The worldwide fortune-telling booth. Yeah. That and, you know what? Yesterday, I was on Facebook and something popped up and said, your name was mentioned. I'm like, what the heck was that about? So I looked, and here's this psychic reader. Yeah, and he just, I think he put Was it a up. Christian psychic or just a regular psychic? <laughs> this one was, I think, a regular one. Yeah. But, um, so... That was a joke. Yeah, please. We do joke on this show. There's no Christian... No. Psychic. There's no such thing. There shouldn't be, anyway. <laughs> right, but they're out there. But anyway, so, so what I'm saying is I'm reading, you know, he had, I don't know, three, four hundred people all. This is a live Facebook post. So he's on talking, saying if he's hit like, if you hit the heart, you're going to be, whoever does it the most is going to be on the top, and I'll give you the reading for the top. In other words, you know, oh, I see it's you, Michael, whatever. Well, if you would have told me that, I could have run to the store, bought a lottery ticket, and... Right. Uh, so what was sad was all the to... All people who were, All the yeah. people. I need a read. I'm, I need help. Yep. Please, please of, pick me. I'm, of, I'm desperate. I mean, these people exactly. are desperate. Desperate people. And it really broke my heart. Think, I, I didn't know, maybe later I might think of something to say in the feed to make people, like, wake up. But I don't even know. It's, yeah. It, I don't know. I think what we're doing when we go online, we're seeing, you know, the whole world. Yeah. Or, or a cross-section of the whole world. Right. And you realize there's just so many people out there. I've so, lost and are needing help. So this show, was uh, the idea was to address the people who are going on YouTube and making videos and literally talking on behalf of God as if it were no big deal. Right. And so first and foremost, we're trying to make the point that you, you shouldn't do that. Right. You should not do that. And so the video introduction, which has got all that music and all the fast stuff, those are all verses from the Bible condemning that sort of thing. Yeah. So what's just crazy is we're in a world where people are claiming to be prophets, biblical Christian prophets, right. and yet they're ignoring the Bible. It's just, and it's, you know, it's like saying I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a game of checkers, but I don't want to use the rules of checkers. I'm gonna use I'm, the chess pieces. Or I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna use basketball. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you can't do that. The Christianity has one holy book, and it's the Bible. And we'll show the difference, yeah. right, in a screenshot eventually in the show so, to okay. show you the difference between the world and true Remind me, I'll go, I'll go there next. I will. Uh, this is from the from the book of Luke. I just saw this either today or yesterday and it tied into some of the videos that we came across just recently. And I'm going to read it from a real Bible. <clears throat> Luke chapter 6 and the whole uh, section is what's normally called the Sermon on the Mount, and then there's more than one section of the Gospels. But I have it up on the screen here, which I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I don't know. Probably barely Just keep going. big enough. Where am I starting here? What does it say? But I say to you, right? Yeah, but you don't have the verse up. I don't I know. see the... I know. I don't know how to make that thing work. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, see, this is why I like these. Okay, no software. The dog. Hey, by the way. No software involved here, baby. The dog? Yeah. For those of you who don't know, they'll, she's, she's they'll see little, this thing on her. 
She's robotic. No, it's a patch because you've heard of Steve Austin, the six million dollar man. Six million dollar dog. Yeah. Actually, she's diabetic, and we're having a hard time getting her glucose levels right with the insulin. So they put this on her. And we can so, take a reading. Yeah, we can take a reading. It's really it's, cool. And it's not it's not something that stabs in her because that's what I was afraid of. Yes. I've had people ask me. I said no, it's just an adhesive, so it reads her level, her glucose level. So don't think she's like in pain or anything. She's not. <laughs> she's snoring. <laughs> she is. Okay, so this is Jesus talking, and he says, "You know what? Let me go back, even though I have it up on the go screen." Go back. I just want you to hear. You can go back. Yeah, and he. Can't, this is starting at verse 17 of Luke chapter 6. I need to keep my mouth pointed upwards. Okay. And he came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon. I have no idea if I'm saying those correctly. That doesn't matter. Who came to hear him. You're doing the best you can. I'm doing the best I can <laughs> and to be healed of their diseases. So they came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all the crowd sought to touch him, for power came out from him and healed them all. Which is amazing. Yeah, it is. Because it's not like, oh, just really believe really hard, and maybe yeah. in 30 days you'll be better. Ch or check that and see. <laughs> or you're just halfway done, and then it might you might Double lose it. Double it, Lord. Double it. <laughs> you might lose it if you don't believe enough. Yeah. It's not That's that. not what we're talking about. No. Though. That's a good tangent, but that's for another show. <laughs> Verse 20, and he lifted up his eyes, uh, lifted up his his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and spurn your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for so their fathers did to the prophets. So the prophets were not treated well because they spoke out, they spoke out against the people. Right. They didn't say, hey, I'm a prophet. I think your future looks incredible. It was always telling the, the people how they were far from God. In and error. How they were in error. They were yeah. in danger because of their sin. Okay, so now verse 24, but woe to you who are rich, for you have cons you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you shall be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe to you when all people speak well of you, for so their fathers did to the false prophets. Now we get to verse 27. Okay. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. To one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who begs from you. And from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. This is the ESV, which is a pretty accurate translation, but the wording is a little awkward at times. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to get... I already got it open. I'm going to get the ESV. E-H. E-H-V. E X-Y-Z. <laughs> L-M-N-O-P. Okay, where was I? I don't know. I was in Luke chapter 6. Yeah. And I was... Um, I'm, going to read, I'm going to read this section again. But I say to you who are listening, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. If someone strikes you on one cheek, offer the other too. If someone takes away your coat, do not withhold your shirt. Give to everyone who asks, and if anyone takes away your things, do not demand them back. Verse 31, treat others just as you would want them to treat you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? To be sure, even the sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even the sinners do the same thing. If you lend to those from whom you expect to be repaid, what credit is that to you? Even the sinners lend to sinners in order to get paid back in full. I think I, I can make this go to the next. It almost has all the words there. Um, verse 35. Look at her. <laughs> I think she wants to get down when she knows what's coming. Lucy, what do you think? We're almost done with the Bible reading. you got to stay for the Bible reading. Okay? Okay. Okay. This is the verse 
Well, actually, the previous verses as well. But instead, love your enemies. Do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, because he is kind to the unthankful and evil. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. This is really good stuff. Yeah. This is what really makes Christianity take a, in, in a number of ways, it takes a hard turn from the, the, um, the Jewish religion, which had become all about following the rules and about protecting your group and shunning people who weren't part of your group. Mm -hmm. Like the story of the Good Samaritan, we always think about it in terms of, you know, it's kind of a phrase we've all heard now. But in, in that time, a Samaritan was somebody who was not Jewish. And they were to be, you know, you wouldn't even look at them, let alone help them when they're sick and in trouble. So Jesus is really changing, in some ways, the, the focus of their faith and their practices. Instead of looking at people who aren't like you, you're supposed to love those people. Even your enemies, you're supposed to love your enemies. This was a pretty radical message for him. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up... Yes, why? Because this is Dingbat Prophets. Because this is Dingbat Prophets, and I never know which glasses to wear because everything's a little too far or a little too close. Hold on. Hold on. Where's my, where's my computer? Okay, we're going to look at that in a second. But I want to go right to our playlist here. Let's see if this guy kind of... Hang on, hang on. Let's just... Let's just... Let's just absorb this for a minute. He's got a crown on. He's got a basketball jersey and a golden they, crown. They can like see that. Him. This is actually a video. It has pictures and everything. But it's just... I just let, it, let it speak for itself, honey. Just let it speak for itself. <laughs> I can't help it. The title is Prophetic Word. God says, watch how I'll humble your enemies. They'll be begging you for forgiveness. I understand what I'm saying. But God don't like ugly. One person, I'm going to be honest with you, sent me a dollar and canceled it. But it's like, don't be funny. Understand what I'm saying? God don't like uh, God don't like ugly. And I'm for real with this, baby. You treat people how you want to be treated. I would never do nobody like that. Come on now. I know where that girl got her thing. <laughs> yeah. She's imitating him. Yeah. Was, she says, was, was he on her playlist? No, no, yes. Yeah. Oh. And she says, baby. Yeah, yeah. But God is good. He He is still yet on the throne. I still love that person that did that. I'm not I'm not holding no grudges against them. But I'm just letting you know God don't like ugly. Understand what I'm saying? And if you guys don't have it, I'll still love you the same. But if you would like to be a blessing, my cash app is God will provide three zero, and my PayPal is God will provide three zero. I don't get but it. But just know that God is. He's asking for money. <laughs> I didn't In get the it. middle of he's yeah. I'm just trying to understand what he's saying. You, you know, yeah. you started way at, over I did. here. I did. He started at the end. I want to humble your enemies. Because I wanted him to talk about that. Yeah. So when you, while you're worried about being betrayed, while you're worried about being set back, just think about the comeback, baby. Because he's going to humble your enemies and they're going to be begging for your forgiveness. Okay, so that's a prophet. <laughs> yeah. Supposedly. When can I have a Tim Tam? Not yet. <laughs> Hello my divine kings and queens, I'm back to do another video. In today's message, what we're going to be going over is God is telling you that your friends turn to foes. That the reason why you accumulated all of these enemies and haters and adversaries, right, is because of the way that God started blessing you, right? <clears throat> God is saying that these people turned into an enemy once he started blessing you. <clears throat> and the reason for that is because <laughs> God was showing you, right? God was showing you and prepping things up in your life, right? To prepare you for the next stage of your life that he was going to take you to. And see, the thing is, a lot of the times you will have people that surround you that are secret enemies, which is the worst kind of enemies to have, right? Because these are the people who you can't... I like an enemy just to come right out and say how much she hates me. I, <laughs> she's got a point there. ...really determine um, <clears throat> what's their standing in your life, right? You don't know how they're moving. You can't really pinpoint their next moves because they're a secret enemy. This goes on So you a have while. a lot of these people... 
messages resonate with you, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend and tell a friend to join the JC Gang. Reach one, teach one. We ride together, we slide together. JC Gang for life. Be glad that these people chose to stop being your friend, chose to stop keeping it real with you, chose to back up from you, chose to turn into an enemy. Be glad that these people bless you with their absence instead of cursing you with their presence. Because let me tell you something, what was going to happen? God was going to keep blessing you. God was going to keep elevating you. You was going to keep being abundant, keep being prosperous. And then these people was going to keep circling around you, being in your life, seeing what was coming your way, seeing. Whew, okay. She's going fast. Yeah. That was only three minutes into so how the 13. Many, how many followers does she have? Oh, I don't. 26,000. Wow. Yeah. So these aren't the ones that I chose. Well, we didn't talk about it. <laughs> well, I, so these are all new to me because I, I chose a whole bunch in a playlist. Well, this is my playlist. Yeah. We can do another show. He said that last time. Well, <laughs> I have a theme. Do you have a theme? I had a Bible verse picked out. Wow. I didn't know that there were rules. <laughs> <laughs> See, she's she's my secret enemy, people. I'm so glad I listened to her. <laughs> That's right. I, you, you're circling around me because I'm, I'm, I'm around. being blessed. Yeah. Those monitoring spirits um, sent by your enemies, God says they are dead. They will no longer have victory in your life because they are dead. Oh, that's nice. Your enemies in your life are going to be dead. <laughs> um. Move, you know, I went to move. These lizards just jumped out at me um, to attack. And so... Uh, three what are the lizards attacking in your life? Yeah, I've not three found them. Three days ago, um, I was... I had another dream. And in this dream, I was in my house. It felt so much like a vision, more so than a dream. Hmm. And uh, I saw in the corner of the house, there were three lizards and they were dead, all stacked upon um, one another. Um, <laughs> and I came out of that dream. Um, and so... What she neglects to tell us is that the day before she stepped on several lizards and then they all accumulated and she just pushed them away and it was a pile. See, thank, thank you. And then she's that. just remembering that now, yeah. but it's a vision. What the Lord is saying through this dream is that um, those Egyptians that you saw yesterday, you will no longer see. The Lord give me Exodus 14, 1 to 30 for someone today. Um, I am just going to read verses 30. When you get a chance, I encourage you to read the full chapters from 1, um, 14, from 1 to 30. And it says, But the children of Israel walk upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand. and on." Okay, so what is she going to do with this verse? You're the Israelites, and your enemies are the Egyptians, and they're going to get drowned. Because mm. God's looking out for you, All right. baby. They left. That's my Thus guess. the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashores. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God says those enemies, those monitoring spirits um, sent by your enemies, God says they are dead. They will no longer have victory in your life because they are dead. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those that sounds a lot different than the thing we read from Jesus. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus, she said. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you guys have not seen the uh, Fighting for the Faith channel, number one, check out that channel. It's our friend Chris Roseboro. Yep. But also, uh, when people misuse the Old Testament like this, I always... Try to remember to point you to a, a handful of videos he did called A Pirate's Guide to the Old Testament. Okay. And it has nothing to do with pirates. That's just a thing they His use. His name? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Take it easy on the Tim Tams, huh? Got a few more packages. So you cannot just take <clears throat> Bible stories and turn them into something that you think God gave you that applies in the way you want it to apply to somebody today. That's called a free-for-all. <laughs> it's called uh <laughs> Um, Anything goes. Yeah. It's, it's, Wait a minute. I, you know. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I want that to be about me <laughs> and my enemies. You know, what you never hear these prophets saying is, you're the problem. You're in sin. Yeah. 
you're the one who's being selfish. You're the person who's trying to go against God. You're the person that should be, you should be apologizing to those people. They always make it sound like, oh yeah, you're not the problem. You're the good person. This is what a false prophet does. When they you prop you up. Show that. Let's do that now. Screen. And I'm going to have one of these because I can. You, already, you just had one. You had one earlier. They came all the way from Australia. They're only going to last so long. I'm enjoying every bite. <sighs> They're good. They're mm -hmm. good. Okay, so this is from uh, Doreen Virtue. She put this up. I don't know where she got this or if she made this. Who is she? Who is she? She is a former New Age guru. She was one of the most popular New Age writers and speakers in the entire world. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the grace of God, she became a Christian. And it's just an amazing story. She has a, a channel that... About six years ago. She, she turned her New Age channel into a Christian channel. She lost all of her literally... I don't want to no, give don't numbers, but she she was big. she was very wealthy because she was a new age person who was telling people what they wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. And when she became a real Christian, she realized she could no longer do that. Mm -hmm. And Paulette is going to be on her show in the next month or so. She just recorded it. I don't know when this video will come out and when yours will come out, but that should be a really good interview. And it really is. And I mean, you're going to talk more about your background as a prophetic person mm -hmm. in the charismatic world. Right. Yeah, I had some experience in that. And when we were discussing it, I was saying how, you know, um, so much of today is, well, they're the prophet. Well, what is really a prophet? Let's look at scripture. Let's look at scripture. What What is a prophet compared to what we're seeing today? And they're two completely different things. And so I just saw this on her Facebook page today. I'm not sure when she came out with it, but it was to me, it was like, this is perfect. Yeah, it is. I saw it too. These taste kind of weird. I can't figure out the flavor. It's not bad. It's just supposed to be barbecue. Take, but take this away from yeah. me. I would eat the whole package. These are actually really noisy on the... Yeah, sorry about that. All right, <clears throat> they're barbecue. Do you taste the barbecue? Because I don't. It's like a different kind of barbecue. It's Australian barbecue. That's what it is. It's ketchup. Ketchup is not barbecue. I know. It tastes like ketchup to you? Mm -hmm. Let's see what the ingredient is. Ketchup. No, it's not. You're right. Okay, biblical prophets, they called people to repent. Today's prophets never speaks about repentance. In general, they might do it every once in a while, but in general, it's always about how good you are. And mm -hmm. Okay, warned about God's wrath. This is huge. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the last Old Testament prophet was actually John the Baptist. And he was... Old Testament prophet, you said? Yeah, we, we, you can consider the Old Testament ending with him. Oh. I mean, I, I've heard it phrased that way. Obviously, he's recorded in the New Testament. Right. But well, the, that's when he lived. Right. Uh, anyway... Mm -hmm. Today's prophets, they strokes, they strokes people's egos. Mm -hmm. Biblical prophets warned against idolatry. Today's prophets predicts only positive outcomes. You're going to get a soulmate. You're going to get a job promotion. Your enemies are going to be Die. crushed by God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Biblical prophets emphasize obedience to God. Today's prophets emphasizes worldly pursuits of happiness. Yes. Which is uh, epidemic in these videos. Yeah. I've got a word for you. God's got a special breakthrough. It's it's right around the corner. Biblical prophets humble and hated by many people. Mm -hmm. Today's prophets tend to be prideful and popular. Mm -hmm. Biblical prophets 100% accurate. Today's prophets they give generalized, vague, psychic readings that are often wrong. Yes. Yes. And if if you've seen some of my other videos recently, I've been really pounding that. Pounding that. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not done pounding it. There's more pounding to be done. <laughs> Biblical prophets pointed to Jesus Christ, the Messiah. This is huge. The whole Bible points to Christ. If you don't have a Christ-centered theology, well, you don't have a biblical Christian theology. Because Christ is the center of everything, and he says he's the center of it all. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say, hey, you know, whatever you guys feel like doing, just as long as you're happy. So anyway, a false prophet from today would quote scripture out of context. context. Yes. This is really good. This is really good categories. Let's it really is. And I, I, I thank you, Doreen. And you'll have a, will she have a, give a link to her something? I mean, I mean, we had this on Facebook, but I'm sure she probably has it on her website or anyway, it's really good. I don't know. I mean, this is it. So if you like yeah. it, take a screenshot of it or picture and keep it. Use the worldwide interwebs. <laughs> you could. Okay. What do we got next here? I've got oh, enough boy. of her. 
Uh, this dream is how God reveals your enemies. Glory, glory to the Most High God. You are welcome, everyone, child of God. Wherever you are, God has placed you in the right place, and He is with you Becker wherever looks you like are. Nash. You are carrying this big God, and He cannot fail you. Maybe so is this is the it's day the Lord has made. Said. Rejoice and be glad in it. In this video, I'm going to show you a dream, and when you see this dream, know that God is revealing your enemies. This is how he reveals your enemies. It's always important as a prayer warrior. So the premise here is you need to know what your who your enemies who they, are, who they are, where they are, what they're doing and and then God's going to like give you the secret code. Yeah. To, so that you can seek them out. Right. And then get rid of them. Right. And this happens with with people like this but it happens with Joel Osteen. I mean that's a huge component of his teaching. Is that you've got haters in your life? You've got negative people. Don't listen to them. You're gonna you're gonna be successful. It's like yeah, that's that's not the advice that comes from the Bible. Right. I just read the Bible. Now it's true that if you are surrounding yourself with really negative people, that is a problem. That is a problem. But he focuses on that like that's the core of our faith. Yeah. Then it's a different gospel, and we all know what a different gospel is. It's, it becomes. A gospel that um, I don't, there's one of the New Testament books, and one of the Galatians. Epistles. But again, <laughs> that's a different show. That's a different show. This isn't yeah. hit the bar. To know who you are up against, check around your environment. Be alert all the time in the spirit. You know what those are called? Hang on a second. She trying to get back in your lap? Yeah. Well, she's she's become blind. You shouldn't have put that table there. Now you're blind. I didn't. You didn't? No. How did it get there? You. I did not. You did. I, I had did to go not. The other way. <laughs> see you. See you later. Hey, Lucy. Lucy. She is so obedient. <laughs> she doesn't see where she's going. Come no. on. Go outside. She has to go outside. You think so? I okay, we're gonna take a break. Okay, ready? We're back. Hi. She took the dog out and Lucy did her business. Mm -hmm. And now we are having frogs alive from Australia. Really good. So one thing about Lucy is the past month really she's become blind because of her diabetes. So she's not I'm totally blind, but blind enough that she's having a hard time. Yeah, seeing. she doesn't know what's going on. So it's really if sad. I get up, yeah, if I get up, we have <laughs> The poor girl, we have all the stuff in the living room that constantly moves around and so we she have these bumps into things. Microphone stands and the camera tripod mm -hmm. and these lights and stuff. So she's not quite sure what's happening. Anyway, so sorry about that. Back to the show. Back to the show. I have a frog. I don't really want to listen to this lady anymore. Uh -uh. Although she she wasn't as bad as some of the other ones. She was trying to be a little more gentle about it. Know what is happening around you, and that's how you pray, right? God will always be on your side. He helps us through. It. Those are jump cuts. Mm. I think we should take points off. Mm-hmm. Too many jump cuts. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on! I I don't have that short of attention span, people. <laughs> Each day, and it reveals any power that may be assigned against your life. So you are going to know about your enemies. The Bible talks about enemies. The people of old in the Bible had enemies. That's why you find the Bible talking about, Oh Lord, arise, let all your enemies scatter. Why? Because whoever is attacking you is attacking God. Whoever comes against you comes against God. And God will arise on your behalf. It what if you're a jerk? Mm -hmm. What if you're doing bad things? Mm -hmm. Is God on your side? According to this lady, mm -hmm. God is on your side no matter what because she says so. This is a false prophet. Yep. Big time. Mm -hmm. let's, keep, let's go to another one because I, mm -hmm. I got a bunch. Oh, boy. Hey, Lucy. What's his intro? Blessings, family. How's everybody? I'm. I'm not. I don't understand that zoom right there at the end. Can, can we? You were. I was trying to get the dog. Watch this. <laughs> it's like there's something really special about the curl of her hair. 
Wait for it. <laughs> Blessing family, how's everybody doing? It's a sign. I pray all is well with you. Welcome back. I'm not going to be before you long. I'm just stopping by for a moment to release unto you what the Lord began to show me. The Release. By the way, I finished these. These were good. It had a different sort of a barbecue flavor, but I finished them. Yeah, so, get that. so she's going to release the thing that God showed her. Lord was showing me how the... Normally you just talk about an idea that you had. You know, I was thinking the other day, maybe we should blah, 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 blah. I can, is... see why, I can see why Chris has Prophet Bingo. Am I saying that right? No. What am I saying? This, this is why we're not going to get back on the show if you can't even remember the name of it. <laughs> Prophecy Bingo. Mm. They have certain lingo that they only use. Yeah. And that would be release. would be another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. The enemy is trying to gather up. And we know that when they start gathering up, they're getting ready to plot against the people of God. But the Lord is saying for us to guard the anointing. He wants us to guard the anointing. He was saying... Okay, so how do you guard the anointing? I mean, literally. We'll never find out. What, I mean, what does that even mean? I don't know. It's meaningless. That's it what it is. All this stuff is meaningless. Well, yeah, that's true. Okay, I've had enough of her. Mm-hmm. Uh, am I in the right place? No, where am I? Uh, You're at our house? <laughs> I'm being a little sarcastic, yeah. I know. Oh, boy. Room noise. Hello, my divine kings and queens. I'm back to do another video. She starts by saying, Welcome back, divine kings and queens. In today's message, what we're going to be going over is why you shouldn't have an air conditioner running while you're doing a video. Is that what she's going to talk about? God is revealing your enemies to you. You really got a theme right? going on here, Kozar. He's revealing your enemies to. I I hate to say this, but it was extremely easy to find all of these videos. I found all of these in a matter of a few minutes. Really? Yeah. About how God's revealing yeah. your enemies. Well, to Well, look, I just typed in prophetic word. God said your enemy. Oh wow. And boom, they all just show up. Why do you suppose that is? Because this is, this is what desperate people on the internet are doing. What? They're saying is, everything that's wrong in my life is my enemy's fault. I've got problems, mm -hmm. and all these other people. I want to find somebody, basically like a witch doctor, who will make them go away, hmm. and then I can have God bless me. Interesting. They want to be blessed, and they want their enemies to be cursed. Wow. And they think that this Christian fortune teller will do the trick. Mm -hmm. And so these people are just filling a role. You know, it's like a, a, a drug dealer. You know, if people didn't want the drugs, they wouldn't be able to sell the drugs. So there's guilt on both sides. He's telling you, pay attention, because a lot of you guys have it. Some of these people are... This has had 57,000, almost 58,000 views since September of, of last year. Wow. So she's she has an air she's of authority. Getting the, she's getting the word out. She's also going to start ramping it up. I want to show you. Oh. Very close to you. Some of these people have directly threatened you and tried to sabotage all the blessings that God has brought you away. It's been around my <laughs> So all the blessings that God's trying to bring your way are being threatened by your enemies. And there are certain signs that you guys have been missing, right? That's why you need her. You don't know what the signs are. You're like, oh, these bad things are happening to me. It's not my fault. Somebody help me. Oh, a, a prophet? And so okay. the message for today is God is telling you to pay close attention because he's revealing these people to you. Um, I had a very close friend of mine call me um, a couple days ago and it was right at a time where I was very busy with work and I was trying to book different things and set up my meetings and everything and um, normally I don't ignore her, her, her calls I never do because this was the very same person that when I was uh, losing my voice right and I didn't understand what was going on with that because I was sick normally when I get sick it has nothing to do with my throat and there was no kind of irritation or anything. I was medicating myself and it's like it was getting worse. And she was one of the people that actually had called me and told me that she saw three people at an altar, right? And these people were trying to shut me up. Um, and so I had a couple- What does that say? I really don't know. I mean, that sounds it's like witch doctor a, yeah, stuff. It's, right. it's witch, it's- But it's Christian witch doctors. Yeah. 
couple people in mind because I know in me expressing to you guys and revealing to you guys some of the things that I went through, it exposes some of the very same people who did these things to me, right? Um, and scheme of the devil, of the enemy is going to work against you, baby. Baby. <laughs> you are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds Where my are we head at now? high. I cry. Oh, she's taking some verses out of the Oh, Old I, was, I was thinking it was her notes she wrote earlier. No, I think it's a... Well, we don't know because you jumped around, Kozar. Yeah, I jumped around. If you're not staying prayed up, if you're not asking God, meditating, and if you're not paying attention to what that man trying to tell you and what he's trying to show you. Okay, okay. <laughs> some of these people, like I said, when we were talking, um, I was talking to a good friend of mine. You know, the things that she was saying, these people were saying, I immediately, I stopped and I told her, I said, oh. they would have never known This reminds me of it. girls getting together and just gossiping. Oh, it is girls gossiping. <laughs> just, exactly what it is. Let me tell you is. another thing. This is what I thought. Well, I don't think that's her. She I think it's right. that other one. I said, you know. Yeah, it's what it is. Sometimes God got a way of, if the way that he'll expose people is see when God think when people think that they so sneaky, they think that they could just get away with anything, see they have to be very well calculated to do so, right? So then at the end of the day, there are certain things that they cannot reveal about themselves. Otherwise, the plan won't go. Even she got lost there for a second. <laughs> let's, let's do an instant replay on that. So then at the end of the day, there are certain things that they cannot reveal about themselves. Otherwise, the plan won't go through. So at the end of the day, when a person is trying to infiltrate an organization, they have to send spies in. They have to send, send rats in. They have to send people, different people who will go back. It sounds like a 70s detective show. <laughs> hey, we're going to send spies in, Charlie. See here, see? Yeah, wise guy, eh? And report to them. If these people that they're sending in exposing themselves, everything fails. Brannigan. Brannigan. Now, see what I told her? I said, Menix. God will have it and, and set it up the way these people... Do you think she's going to ramp it up as I scroll through I, the video? I really don't know. Do I'm, Let's, I'm hoping. I mean, I don't hope so, but I think she will. She ramps because it up how these people and then she brings it down. Themselves. There are certain things that, like I said, you haven't really begun to know Oops. what it means and what it, what it takes to fully tap into your power. Mm. Right? Because you don't even understand how powerful you are. Wow. That's why we're listening to you. So please tell us more. You will never take the time back to sit and, and realize that every time somebody do you wrong, it's instant. It, it, it instantly come back to them. I know I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand. Mm -hmm. And see, at the end of the day, it's like that's God's way of showing you that he's walking with you, that he's talking with you, that he's protecting you. A lot of these people can't get to you and Chapter do what they verse. want to do to you because God is blocking their attacks. Mm. He's blocking it. He's blocking it. He's blocking it. <laughs> See, these people are so ignorant. They'll they'll think that you don't have 24-7 protection around you. They don't think that at the end of the day... If he's always blocking you and you got 24-7 protection, why is she making this video? I don't know. I want to I see her ramp it up. No. God say no. What I need you to do, you mm -hmm. are going to carry this out. Okay, okay. What I need you to step into, yeah, yeah. you are going to step into I, it. I, there I, ain't I, no if, ands, buts about it. No, no, you're right. And no matter how many enemies you have standing against you, uh -huh. 10,000, 50,000, no, 100,000, a million. Well, that's a lot, but okay. <laughs> the whole world can be against you, but with God standing by your side, who can really go against you? <gasps> Who, who, why would you care about who's standing against you when God is for you? I, I wasn't JC, really, back I, me up. GP, are you with me? You already know what to do. If any of these messages resonate with you, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend to join the JC gang. Reach one, teach one. We ride together, we slide together. JC gang for life. Oh my goodness. I don't understand I, any of that. JC gang, is that her, is that her name? JC Gang for Life? No, this is called Divine Healing Ministries, which is also called the Ministries Against Your Enemies. Because I, most of our videos that I saw had something about God's telling me to tell you that he's going to get your enemies. I think this is the one I saw for the, the same title over and over again. <clears throat> okay, let's move but on. Let's move on. Although she was entertaining.
You gotta admit. Devil tried to keep you in this cage. No. That meeting got canceled. For whatever reason, he needed me to talk to her. I did. Mm. And see, she had already said, she said, you know, I gotta call Victoria. I gotta call Victoria. Just I gotta call it. Victoria. Move it along. And see, we... This is painful. What you're doing and how you're doing it, uh -huh. somebody trying to come behind you and do it's not going it's it's not gonna have the same outcome. Okay. That's what these people don't understand. Oh. It's something different that they need to be doing. Okay. The best part of this is when With the noise stops. They have a stuck mind. So you have to pay close attention to God and what he's trying to show you so that these people so that you may be aware of who these people are. But you just said that he's got a 24-7 wall of protection all around us. Why do we care? <clears throat> okay. Did you watch this whole thing through before? Oh, no. I just skipped around. I told you, I just did this in a matter of minutes. But how, how come you knew she was going to ramp it up in the end? Well, I skipped around. That's I, what? I, yeah, right, okay. I just skipped a little bit. I can't see anything. I'm blind as a bat. I don't know yeah. where I am. Am I? Is this the right? Yeah, here's the next one. Here we go. Hello, Ghost Child. I hope you're well. Welcome to my channel, Ghost Child. She's in a blizzard. It sounds like it. No, it looks like it too. It's all white. I th I'm hearing a lot of static then. Yeah, I, this, I don't know if the audio is going to be good enough. Channel, if you're seeing this channel for the first time, God brought you here for a purpose. Hit the red bell, subscribe, come over and join the okay, I can't. Yeah, no, but the I... prophetic word. God says your enemies say you will not make it, but God said that's a lie. Okay, let's move to the next enemy thing. Frenemy. Frenemy. Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith and you're welcome back to Blossom by Faith. So in today's video, I want to share the word that the Lord put in my heart for someone. And those But you know what? They're all in agreement. Usually, yeah, the, that's right. <laughs> none of them are in agreement. Now they all are about the enemy. That's so true. That's maybe true. there's something to this. Oh yeah. This word is coming from the book of Psalms, chapter 23 and verse 5. The Lord says that he's going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. The Lord says that he wants to bless you, but he first wants to expose your enemy. I asked the Lord, why prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies? The Lord said, yes, I want it that way because I want them to experience the greatness that is coming your way. But for sure, this time they are not going to be part of your blessing. I am preparing this table because I want to expose their lies. Don't be carried away when they sit together with you. Don't be carried. But again, what if you're the one who's lying? So so their interpretation, all of them, mm -hmm. if they use scripture, they're interpreting it how they feel mm -hmm. and what the Lord's told them and what how they see it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's a recipe for disaster. Yes. Oh, I think this is a good one. Okay. I just want to come on here and talk, man. I got a prophetic word, man, and, and, and I, I'm going to just start talking and get right into it, man. You feel what I'm saying? You got to realize, man, these people that tried everything that they can do to destroy you, to to um, put your business out in the streets, to, to, to. so you got to realize a lot of this stuff is, is mental. It's all for your mind. They don't want you to get to a point where you realize who you are. See, it's one thing to be, see, it ain't like y'all ain't been confident or, or knew like you were special, but it's a difference when, when, when. When God re when God show you how they see it, see you know. What I'm saying? I keep thinking he's in the barber shop and he's got the the cloak <laughs> around him like he's, oh, yeah. he's in the middle of a haircut. The cape. Yeah, the cape. Mm -hmm. It's you used to seeing yourself every day, so it's just like it's just me. You get what I'm saying? But when God take you out of the equation and he and he open up your eyes to you and you start to see how you come in and you recognize and truly know who you are. Oh yeah, they didn't want you to get to this point. That's why everything has been mental. You get what I'm saying? And these, these, all the mental things that they do, bro. These, like, I, I just want to give a tip to all YouTubers. If you say, "Do you get what I'm saying?" That doesn't actually help people to get what you're saying, no matter how many times you mm -hmm. repeat it. I said these people then did. They did everything to to try to stop you. Black magic, witchcraft, whatever, whatever spells people in the middle of the night. Imagine, that's how you know you're wrong. You feel what I'm saying? Imagine being in the middle of the night, hum, 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 humming, and, 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 and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Imagine being in the middle of the night, 12, 3 o'clock in the morning, thinking about me. That's how you know you got the sauce like that. You feel what I'm saying? If that's what you got a result to, to try to end my situation, that's how I know I'm goaded out. God got his sauce over me. It's the anointing, though. When God anoints you, so you got to realize when God anoints you, 
it don't matter these people it don't matter what these people try to do god will always reroute you here he'll take you and put you in a completely different industry My legs uh, a completely asleep. different industry something you ain't never Ooh. did before and he'll bless your hands and you will be the top of that industry and he'll just he'll continue to bless you and maneuver you in ways every time they try to block and try to call them god gonna reroute you and god gonna take you further you get what i'm saying and he this guy could get lessons to chuck pierce he's got some new words it's gonna yeah. reroute you right i don't think i've heard chuck pierce use that one no yet. His hair needs to be a little longer to be like Chuck Pierce, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to have more gray. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was interesting. Yep. Hello, everyone. Oh, I guess. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith. Move and on. Welcome back. I had her twice. Shalom, shalom. Welcome back to Kingdom Obedience Ministries. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, family. Okay, there's something called sound deadening, lady. <laughs> she doesn't know it. She's in an echo chamber. Echo chamber. And she always starts by saying, shalom, shalom. And she, ha this is the one that when I typed in that the title there, her videos showed up like every couple of videos. She's all about enemies, about your enemies, and how you're about to get how, many, how many followers? Uh, it's actually pretty popular. Oh, she doesn't put that there, but this has had 14 almost 15,000 views since November. Huh. And today's prophetic word is going to be based off of the book of Psalms 110 and 1, and it reads, The Lord said unto my Lord. Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Amen. God will make your enemies your footstool. Your enemies are going to become your footstool that will lift. What is that supposed to really mean, though? The scripture when it was written. It means that you're. No, no, no. Get your the blessing. true. The true. And God's gonna. Make no, wasn't you... he talking about mm -hmm. Jesus? Jesus. This is all about Jesus. It's not about us and the footstool that we should have. It was Jesus. When he said, my Lord said to my Lord, mm -hmm. you know, God the Father said, if I'm not mistaken, to his son, I will make you in charge of everybody, basically, and your enemies will be your footstool. The Psalm of David. The Lord says to my Lord, and, and the two Lords, one is all capital letters and the other one isn't, so they're different words okay. in Hebrew. Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. That's it. That's all she said, right? Or, right. The Lord sends forth from Zion your mighty scepter. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Oh, yeah, that's probably the part where she... Your people will offer themselves freely on the day of your power in holy garments. Uh, I got the Lutheran Study Bible here. So what does the notes say? One of the most quoted of all Psalms used 17 times in the New Testament. Mm. Jesus quoted it in Mark 12, 36 to show that he was the Messiah. That's right. David's Lord, not just David's descendant. Yes. Critics have complained that its meaning is hindered by textual problems. Yet, Christ and the apostles interpret and apply the psalm boldly. So there you go. Uh, the second Lord is greater than David and has both divine, sits at the Lord's right hand, mm -hmm. and human characteristics, earthly enemies. My Lord is Adonai, which is different than the um, capitalized one. Which is the one that doesn't have, you know, any letters in between, so you can't pronounce it. But Yahweh is what it usually is. Mm, I see, yeah. In biblical times, the conqueror placed his foot on his enemies to indicate triumph. And then here's a quote from uh, somebody. Christ argues that he is not only the son, but also the Lord of David. Now mm. both in the political realm and in nature, a son or a successor is never the Lord of the father or of the previous king. But, you know, you can just turn it into whatever you want. Well, she figured out how yeah. to use it. Take you to a higher place of blessings and glory. Your enemies are placed in your life for a reason. They are necessary for elevation. Goliath was David's footstool to elevation. Believe it or not, your enemies who work against you are actually working for you. You know, one of the things about what we've been doing with this channel is uh, making videos against the teachings of some of the really popular people, like Joyce Meyer. And we've only done one so far, but how much you want to bet all of these people, they don't, they don't get this from nowhere. They listen to other famous people who have TV shows and popular channels and stuff and books. So she sounds like she's just repeating all the stuff she's it's read. It's true. It does sound like it. Which is not to make an excuse. She's on, you know, the interwebs. Pu a public platform. Yeah, and she's supposed to be teaching the Bible, and she's not qualified. 
for you. They aren't the ones that God used to mold you into greatness. They are the ones that God used to get you to where you need to go. God will use your enemies to show you who you truly are. Your so this is a, an example of just pumping people up, you know? Yeah, like a motivational speech. Very much. Mm -hmm. Is there some truth to what she's saying in general for, you know, just everybody? Not in a Christian sense, but just, excuse me, in general? Yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes when you're trying to accomplish something and... Oh, yeah, people get in your way or, you know what, they are jealous. And so they try to maybe make you look bad in the eyes of the boss so that you don't get that promotion. Yeah. That's that's human nature and that's sin. And, and, and then sometimes that does drive you to do a better job. Right, it does. Because you say, well, you're, you're so convinced I'm going to fail. That actually or motivates me. Or you're trying me. to make me fail because yeah, actually right. I've been showing you up. That I'm going to keep moving because I'm going to be the best that I can. And this is this is not a Christian thing. No, it's not. You know, do good in your job. Uh, you know, be successful. Uh, you know, have a good attitude. All that stuff. But this is not Christian teaching. No. She's taking Bible passages that are supposed to be pointing to Christ, the Messiah, right. who died on the cross for our sins. Yes. It's the focal point of all human history. And this is why it was written. Yeah. So they're taking the Bible and, and turning it into basically like a lucky magic lucky rabbit's foot yeah a magic charm magic charm right? yeah let's go to another one i know i've got a few more here oh lucky us yeah wow hello lovely people it's deborah with heavenly callings and I just came on to give a quick message uh, for someone that may be in need. And if you don't mind, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and like the video and also um, subscribe to the channel. Do you remember Jeremiah used to do that in the Old Testament? He'd say, hey, oh, yeah. Before hey, gang. He, hey, gang. I'm here again. <laughs> Make sure to check out my latest. Anyway. But I like to get into what the Lord has um, stated to me several times now mm. within the last few days. Okay. And that is your enemies are plotting or trying to devise wicked plans and schemes. Mm. However, they will not work or succeed because the Lord stated they will fall. I repeat, they will fall. So if, if you haven't watched our shows before, this is blasphemy. Right. Blasphemy is something that you do against God. It's not in favor of God. It's not neutral about God. When you speak on behalf of God and you say, I'm speaking the very words of God and you're not, you're lying, that's blasphemy. How do you know you're not speaking the words of God? Because they're not in the Bible. So and they're we, not necessarily even true for all people. She might talk to somebody who's got an issue with a real enemy and they need encouragement, but she's speaking to just anybody out there and, and telling them all this thing is from God. And she can't be God. held, she can't be held um, accountable for her words. None, which, none of these people can. Which, if you look at what a prophet is supposed to biblically be, is you're supposed to be able to hold them accountable, and if they were wrong, they were stoned to death. I mean, that's what happened. And these prophets that they have willy-nilly prophesying all over the place... You can't, you, you can't hold them accountable to anything. It's like having, it's like grabbing something, but your hands full of Vaseline. You know, hurting, you can, hurting cats. You're going to get the hammer. It's going to keep <laughs> slipping out of your hand. You're not going to be able to grab a hold of anything or hurting cats. But um, that's, that's huge. But what she's doing here is she's <clears throat> looking right into the camera and she has authority. And for a lot of people, that's all it takes for you to believe, wow, she must be talking on behalf of God. It must then mean that it's going to come true. And this is where people, if they're even Christians at all, this really hurts their faith. Am I hitting the screen? No, look at <gasps> Hey, we got a friend on the show today. A stink bug. Yeah. It's been flying around. Tomorrow's supposed to be in the 60s. And tomorrow will be... Maybe they'll leave the house. Yeah, will be March 5th. That's so, going to be unusually warm. Yeah. Let's, let's listen. This is a short one. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to go ahead okay. and look at Psalm 2111. Wow. What a surprise. Which declares. That I'd like for one of them to read the Sermon on the Mount. That doesn't work for this whole thing. Though they plan evil against you, though they devise mischief, they will not succeed. So the, the Psalms most of which 
I think there's a few that weren't, but it's mostly David. David and I think Solomon. Yeah. A A self, a self. How yeah, do you that, say that, that name is how I pronounce. Yeah. The the gist of it is he is pouring out his feelings to God, mm -hmm. and those are actually really useful to us when we're going through difficult times, but they are not guaranteed promises that you're going to have your enemies. It's not a prescription. It's not a. It's a. It's. It's, it's not a prescribed thing for you to do. It's not something that you can use as a magic formula. Right. And when you say it out loud, like she's doing, that you know for sure that those people who are your enemies are going to be, you know, um, taken care of by God. God's going to be on your side. You know, and some people in you know the circles that I've been in with women in the past, you look at that as a promise. You know, what makes, what is a promise? I'm, I'm holding, it's God's word and he's promising it in God's word. Yep. And that's a misunderstanding of what a promise is. This is not a promise for everybody. Remember um, sermons where they'd say, there's X thousand number of promises yeah. in the Bible and you just need to claim them. I'm like, what are you talking about? So I get all this stuff. I have all these things that I know I can have. I just, and then you just have to repeat them to God. Yeah. And remind him of what he promised you. And God's it's up so there. It's so confusing. God's up there with his calculator going, ah, that wasn't enough. And it's like you've got to keep working and working harder yeah. and harder. And that's a big burden on people because you think I'm not, I'm not praying it right or I'm not saying it right. or But it's in God's word. You know, why can't. It's a misinterpretation of exactly. God's word that causes you to think that this is a magic formula. Right. And, and I think that was the biggest problem we had mm -hmm. in our life was we did not understand there is a correct way to understand and interpret Scripture. If there's a correct way, that means there also must be... A not correct way. Yes, an incorrect. Is that another one of those stinkers? No, it was the same one. He just, same one? He just got up and flew. He must have been on the show. <laughs> hey, Sammy. welcome! Sammy the Sammy stink Sammy the bug. Stink bug. <laughs> I hate those things, I actually. do, too. Anyway... Don't do anything, mm -hmm. don't say anything. God is sitting high and looking low. Hopefully the enemy repents because what they're actually doing mm -hmm. is digging a grave or pit for themselves. It will only backfire for you to see their truth. Okay, so imagine, this won't apply to you, I'm sure, but just imagine for a person who is too self-focused, too selfish, too demanding, What's another term in that category? I'm trying to figure out what you're trying well, to get at. And they're, they're trying to get people to constantly do stuff for them. They're lazy. They don't want to finish some task. They, they, they're mad at their boss because their boss keeps telling them to get to work. There's a million different versions of basically sin. And you think that God is the, the lamp that you got to rub the right way so that you can get all those things. You get... I want my boss to leave me alone. Hey, how about if you go to work and do your job well and your boss probably will leave you alone? Somebody like this encourages that sort of a person to only get worse. Oh. Somebody like this encourages the person who should be repenting to actually think, I don't need to repent. She just told me my enemy is the one who, who should repent. This but again, is, it's not looking at myself saying, okay, you know, how have I failed and what right? do I need to repent of? Because I am a sinful person. I could be the problem. This is yeah. a huge, uh, like a whole category it's problem. When you look at the Bible and you even look at Christianity itself as the thing you join so that you can now have God on your side so that God will do stuff for you. That's just so wrong. You yeah. should be looking at Christianity and saying, I now understand my true relationship to God. That is, I'm a sinner and he's a holy God. And I've been disobeying him for all of my life. I was born in sin. I've been sinning. And now I, I have problems. I have issues, a lack of, you know, a good family life or maybe something to do with your schooling or all these difficult issues that aren't your fault are there. That's for real. But the real thing you got to face is your sinfulness, that you've been fighting against God, that you've wanted to have your own way. You wanted God to be your servant. Those are the things that make you say, Oh, I see what it means to be a Christian now. I, I say to God, I am so sorry for all that stuff. I was, I was selfish. Mm -hmm. I wasn't actually thinking about anybody but myself. I wasn't thinking about God or my neighbor. You know, so Christianity is not the place for you to get God on your side. This what is, is Christianity? Christianity is when you realize your sinfulness and you see that you need to be redeemed, which is a, a fancy Bible word, but it means that you need to be made right with God. And you know that you are in danger of the wrath of God. God is angry at your sin, as he should be. A holy God shouldn't look at sin and say, oh, that's okay. 
you you didn't you didn't mean it. No, actually, you did mean it. That's what that's what it means to sin. You mm-hmm. do something wrong. Sometimes we make mistakes that aren't yeah. sin, but in general, the whole idea of sin is that it's a it's a thing that's wrong. It's disobeying God and His commandments. So and then what happens? Then you go to hell. Okay. Because of your sin. Right. That's kind because of the bottom. Because you can't. Nobody can ever measure up to God's perfection. So right. what God did to make it right, He didn't have to, but out of His mercy and grace. He sent Jesus Christ, his son, to die on the cross for our sins. And that's how we're redeemed. So Jesus paid for the penalty of the sins that we should be paying for, which we will not. We will have eternity in heaven with him because of Jesus Christ. So we can spend our whole lives just being thankful for that gift and always going back to that and not looking forward to how I want to get stuff from God. No, and you know what? And if we focus our life on our enemies and our me, 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 it's a very bitter, self-focused unfulfilled life that just draws you away from God. Mm-hmm. It draws you away from your faith, really. It does. Because you're now you're not focused on God or what right. he's done. Again, it's not a, your faith is the wrong faith. The gospel, which is Jesus Christ coming, you know, and saving us from our sin, and we're supposed to be sharing the gospel, and we're supposed to be bringing others with, with us. Well, if we're just so busy mm-hmm. doing all this stuff, we're not, we're going to, we're like spinning around in circles trying to take care of ourselves when, you know, Jesus, Jesus message was not about this. Well, and that goes back to. Yeah. When you read it at the very beginning. <clears throat> One of the things that Jesus does in the Sermon on the Mount, it's a good thing to point out is he sets the standard extremely high. Yeah. And one of the mistakes that Christians can make and they make it often, you know, and uh, some people are probably going to disagree with this. But right. Right. You cannot live out all of the commandments of God. You cannot live out, especially, the commandments of Jesus. He says uh, the commandments are, you know, like uh, don't commit adultery. Well, I say if you even look at a woman with lust, you have committed adultery in your heart. He's trying to get to the heart issue. Heart, right. Christianity is not a way for you to find the right way to live so that you can please God, so that you can earn your way to heaven. Right. Or anything. It's the law... And what Jesus says in the Sermon on the Mount is largely, yeah, we should behave this way, but at the same time, we should also be saying to ourselves, well, "It's impossible." Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm going to trip up. I'm not going to always live this way. Right. I might make some progress, but then I'll fail over there. So you know? that's law. This is law. Okay. What's gospel? Gospel is well. I used to have that T-shirt on one of the shows just I recently. Know. Law is what you should do. Gospel is what has been done. Yeah. And what Jesus has done is he said. You are going to be punished for your sins because of your inability to keep the law. However, because of what Christ has done on the cross, you now can have salvation. You can have the free gift of salvation. You have have the righteousness of Christ imputed to you, which is Mm -hmm. a great word. It's just a legal term. It means you've you've been uh, given this standing before God, this legal standing before God that you don't deserve. But because he's God, he's the judge, he can say, I changed my mind in a sense, or I, I, I changed Christ the ruling. Now. Yeah, I changed I, When the ruling, I look at right. you and all your sin, I don't see any of that. I see the goodness of Christ. Right. And that just makes a person, it should, if you're repentant and you realize the gift you've been given, to want to live a right life. You know, not to go out and to sin more because you realize right. what Jesus Christ did for you. Right. And you realize what God's done for you. And you realize that you are not your own. And scripture talks about that in the New Testament, you know, that you were paid with a price and not some, you know, coins and money or precious gold and you silver. You were bought with a bought price. Bought with a price, thank you. But with, with Christ's blood, that's how we were bought. And that's... Let me do it just a couple more. Okay. Blessings to you all. Thank you for joining this session. If you've been following up with the sessions here or you are new, I love you. I keep praying for you. Please drop a comment. Let me know that you are watching. I would like to pray and connect while mentioning your name. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord says they don't deserve your attention. Child of God, they want to distract you. They want to shift your focus from your assignment. They are trying to prove you wrong. They are trying to make you feel like you're not doing the right thing. But their motives are wrong. God says they don't deserve your attention. Jesus Christ. God says they don't deserve your attention. 
She's so pleasant in the beginning, wasn't she? She's really pleasant. Yeah. And then she's like, yeah, you're great. They're terrible. And I'm going to pump you up. Yeah. During his earthly ministry, had this kind of distractions from the Pharisees and the Sadducees. But because he already knew the kind of people they were, he... What if you're a Pharisee? What if I'm a Pharisee? Every one of us has a tendency to become a Pharisee at times. But she's starting with the assumption, once again, no, you're not the problem. That's the other people. You're fine. Sometimes we do need to encourage people, but you can't just blanketly tell everyone they're not the problem. Right. This is why this is so dangerous. Here we go. Shalom, the Lord bless you. This is Ministration Street, Pastor Stella. You are welcome. If this is the first time of you coming across my channel, please consider pressing the subscription button and the notification bell. What do you think about the hair, honey? <laughs> That's something. That's something. So you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. God bless you, and I hope you feel love from this end. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Be careful. It's just a setup. Set Be careful. It's just a setup. Set up. There are some particular people who are telling you the things you're doing is not the right thing. You are, you are going the wrong way, you know, because you are standing for God, because you are trying to maintain a good Christian standard. They have talked about it and you feel pressure. You feel like giving up yourself. You feel like trying to compromise the things that you've learned from God. And you feel because they are saying a lot of negative things is going to come to pass. And you are thinking of dropping some of your standards in Christianity. It's not. <laughs> she looks like an eleven-year-old with a wig. On. <laughs> you know, I think she might be using a skin-smoothing filter. That's why she looks young. It's but like she's, she's not... eleven. Yeah, I think that's what that is. She looks younger than my granddaughter. My granddaughter's eleven. <laughs> hey. worth it it's just a setup be careful it's just a setup be careful never you lose your integrity for anything never you lose your dignity for anything it is what you uphold in christ that makes you who you are actually they are jealous of you they are jealous of the life that you are living so they want to set you up so that you become like one of them okay so she started with some points about you want to continue to hold fast to your christian faith and there's people right. who are against your christian right. faith that's a real problem it is a real problem no Notice how she just kind of ramps it up and now she's talking about how great you are and how bad your enemies are. You start reasoning like them, you start walking like They're them, jealous. you start keeping the kind of companies they keep. Please be careful. It's just a setup. You are not going to like the way it will end. It might be looking green right now is because you are not there. Just stay on your own path. Stay on your own lane. That is the right path. Stay in your own lane. So don't be pressured by anybody. What you are doing is according to God's standard, you are doing the right thing. How does she know everybody's doing the right thing? Right. That's, again, ugh. here we go. Uh-oh. What's up, YouTube tribe? Listen, I have a quick word for today. Okay. And so God dropped this into my spirit um, a couple of days ago. Did he? And I heard that it's only going to get worse. Okay? So it's only going <coughs> to get worse for your enemies. Okay? Mm. Oh, the enemies. And this is not like just to to um like rejoice mm -hmm. in what your enemy is about to go no, through. No, no. But it's but. only going to get worse for them. Mm -hmm. So just pray for them. Mm. But let me tell you why and how it's going to get worse. <laughs> it's going to get worse because God is about to tell elevate me. you. Wait, let me get my about coffee to elevate and you. With He's about to take you from glory to glory to glory. And your enemies, really? the people that betrayed you, the people that lied on you, the people that did not believe in you, the people that just did you dirty. They're going to have to sit and watch. Like, so they're going to be on the outside looking in. Okay, they're going to have to look in from the outside. And they're not going to have access to you. Because these are people that you should have cut off already. Because the Lord has been prompting you. There was a... Did she just... She said it she two words. She snorted and like something. 
Instant replay. These are people that you should have cut off already <laughs> because the Lord again, has been again. prompting you, telling you to cut. Because these are people that you should have cut off already <laughs> because the Lord has been prompting you, Sorry, telling we are... you to cut these people oh, off. This is hard. We were in junior high together. We were. Actually, we were in fifth grade together. I think we, we already talked about that. That's, yeah. that's not a good freeze frame right there. No. Or if you haven't, he's going to prompt you, mm -hmm. you know, and tell you to go ahead and cut these people off. Mm -hmm. And he wants to cut these people off before he elevates you. Okay. Because they're not supposed to, you know, have access to your success. Wow. Okay. Okay. They can't go where you See, when you don't know go. what to say next, you and say okay. And looking like, <laughs> okay? Okay. Like, amen? Mm. Why amen? Why did I even do that? Why did I do him like that? Why did I do her like that? Why? Mm. They're going to have to sit and watch. Mm. As the Lord elevates you and brings you... Some of y'all are going to be famous. Like, some of y'all <laughs> are going to be known worldwide. Oh, yeah. The God is going to do something that you never expected. And I know it may not look like it right now, but it is. He's going to do it. And let me tell you, right now, if you're in that place where you don't even see, like you can't see your way out, mm -hmm. you don't see yourself being successful, imagine it in your head. Go ahead and think about how you want your life to look. Because that's the way it's going to look. Imagine. But it's going to be so much better. Because what do you call that again? God is going to surprise you. He's going to do things. Don't interrupt the prophet. That Sorry. you never, ever <clears throat> even imagined that you could do. So just mark this date. Visualization. And just, I want you to mark it. Because like a year from now or two years from. I mean, should we use a marker? Should we? Excuse me, I don't we, know. Can we type it in our phone? I, she wasn't clear about that. I feel like I should be marking this date right now, but I haven't. I've had too many froggies. <laughs> <laughs> too many candies now. You know what I like about this lady? She's quiet. <laughs> yeah, she's not yelling she's at not us. She's not ramping it up. In the, the, uh, she's not browbeating the either. The audio quality is good enough that I can, I, I'm sure it'll sound, because a lot of these are hard to hear. Yeah. Cause the, but she doesn't browbeat. We well, that, talk about there's that. Still, there's still time for browbeating. That's true. You're going to look back and you, your life is going to be totally different. And your enemies, they're going to have to watch from the sidelines. Hmm. They're not going to have access to you. They're going to have to sit and watch you eat. Sorry, there's no access to him. Wait a minute. Where's the... You uh, over there? Sorry, no access. The no access tape. <laughs> I mean, think about what this is doing to people. Yeah, it's pumping people's pride big time. Yes, it's 100% pumping up a person's pride. Yeah, which we talk... Which it says in scripture, it's, that's, false, that's a false prophet. That, I mean, everything she's saying is false. Everything. Right. Every single thing. They're going to have to sit and watch you have this feast, like a table that the Lord is going to prepare for you. This big old feast. <laughs> and they're going to have to sit there and watch. So just pray for your enemies. Oh, yeah, just pray for them. Because they're yeah, going to be... After you're just basking in their suffering. Yes. What'd she say? Distraught. They're distraught. They're going to be looking. They're going to be looking crazy. I don't know how else to put it. Mm. I don't I don't even know what else to say. Mm. Because all I heard was it's only gonna get worse. So like if you're elevated, like if God is like has already brought you out of something, mm -hmm. they're already looking like, wow, I can't believe that she or he even made it that far. But that ain't it. that's not the end. Mm. Because God is even he's gonna do even more. Wow. So then they really gonna be looking crazy. It's only gonna get worse. It's only going to get worse for your enemies. And it's so all of you who don't like our YouTube channel, it's only going to get worse. <laughs> our channel, we're going to get so much bigger. Oh, yeah. okay. And all of our see. enemies are going to be saying, I wish we had access to Stephen yeah, Paul at Kozar. No way. But you won't have access. No. She just said so. Yeah. And she's the prophet. I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. <laughs> what do you think? Should we let her go anymore? No, no, no. It's going to get better no. for you. No. So why is getting worse for them it's getting better for you and that's what makes it so bad for them because they didn't even believe yeah poor they them they didn't believe in you i gotta not you know what or maybe rub they my did. eyes they knew they're gonna have to watch that big old feast be prepared for for you okay and so just forgive these people oh yeah because we have to forgive oh sure 
you know, you have to have a forgiving um, spirit, a forgiving heart. But when you, when you forgive that, make sure you make a video about how terrible their lives are going to be and how sad they're going to be when you get really famous. But then in the video, talk about how you're going to pray for them. Right. Yeah. Right. That, 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 That's so big of her. That makes it all it good. Makes it okay. <laughs> Heart, because we've all done things. That's like uh, the gossip thing, you know. Did you hear about so and so? Bless we, their heart. We need to pray for her. First, they say, "Bless their heart." Bless their heart. I will tell you what happened. I was kind of hoping she was going to ramp it up. But she, she didn't ramp it up. Come on, computer, get me to the next level. Yeah. Do I you think... have another one? We're done. Oh, here we go. Hello, chosen ones. How are you doing today? Hope everybody is doing well. <laughs> the traffic. Hey, for me. I'm doing Here's a handy tip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't record a video next to a highway. Wow. When wonderful. Mm. I feel blessed. Yesterday I didn't even was see cold the cars going by. I just oh, I just I hear couldn't it. stand the cold. I stepped outside, took a walk, but I had to return uh back in. Um but today is warmer, it's, it's beautiful out here. Here's the climate cars. is awesome. Um, I feel great. <laughs> um, I just want to talk to you guys today about go. not letting your enemies. Where's the car? Exactly. There's got to be a crossroad. Yeah, that's one. She's not only next to a road, she's next to two roads. Yes. Yeah. Now she's going to tell us about our enemies. Let's Here see, we go. Let's see what we can learn from her. Dim your light. Okay. We're not going to let our enemies dim our in case you can't hear it at home because of all the truck noise, <laughs> don't let your enemies dim your light. That's right. Okay, let's go on. Your enemies see something special on the I think her enemies are driving a big <laughs> truck back and forth. It's the same truck. <laughs> they don't see the same thing on the inside of them. Uh-huh. Oh boy. That's because they're comparing themselves to you. They're comparing themselves to you, and they shouldn't be comparing themselves to anybody. They should be trying to be the best version of themselves. That's a good point. Um, and stay. Wind noise. But they, they see you. They see something beautiful on the inside of you, uh -huh. and they just will not admit it. Yeah, I hate they it when that not happens. Admit what they see on the inside of you. That's what happens with me in my life. <laughs> People see all the beauty inside of me because I'm so special and nice. You're so nice. Yeah, and you're they... just like a big teddy bear. Everyone wants to hug you. <laughs> <laughs> me and Chris Roseboro both. Yes, yeah, right. Because they don't see it inside themselves. Yeah. That's the same thing and with me. Because they don't see it inside themselves. They don't see the teddy bear. They look at you and they think that uh, you're better than they are. They Ooh. feel they feel better. They feel like you're better than them. And what they would do is they would try to devise a plan. Uh -huh. How can I go about um, ruining somebody's life? Getting near her. So I can draw attention from her. I can draw attention to myself from her. You know. I wonder if this woman has ever done that because she's got kind of the inside <laughs> scoop. You can't go about saying that. No, I don't know. She's probably just trying to. She's gotten the word from the Lord. That's true. She's just trying to hand no out. No scripture, but she's got the word from the Lord. Yeah. All these people have words from the Lord that just dropped into their spirit. Okay, I think that was. We don't have a Kay Nash tonight, huh? She didn't do anything about enemies. So that was the theme tonight, I guess, was about your enemies and what Boy, God's going to do. I bet you there is a Kay Nash one. Well, we might find that another time. We didn't put the timer on. How long do you think this has been? Uh, too long. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're done. So thank you for tuning in. And yes, we like to have fun. It's it's a sad state out there it really is and and we we i think you get the idea we're trying to point out the bad right. stuff but we're trying to do it in a way that's not so negative and, and painful we don't want to be a debbie downer no but it is a debbie downer stuff debbie downer that's wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> wah, wah. but anyway we, hey and the other thing i wanted yes. to say about this show this show 
I make uh, the editing, make, I do the editing to make the final video. And I think what I want to try to do with this particular show yeah. is the least amount of editing possible so I can get it up and we have, we can have more content. Okay. And the ones that will have more of the little clips yeah. to kind of spruce them up will be the hit the bar ones. Okay. So this is more raw. This is raw. This is raw. This is real. Real. This, this is organic. We're not. He's not going to cut out the bug flying around. Sammy the stink bug. Man, be around. this is who we are, man. We got <laughs> bugs flying around. If you don't like it, you're our enemy. Get out of our house. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, Thank you guys. Thank you. We really appreciate yep, it. Talk God to you bless soon. you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.